G'day guys, Mr. G here again. Just uh, finally got some time to make a video. Managed to land myself a job, so been a bit less in terms of content, but still managed to play one character this league up to 84. Um, pretty similar to my last cast one channel. But this one's using all elemental damage. I was gonna scale it with just fire, uh, but then I wanted to try out storm first because cast one channel steering bond firestorm's been done before, and storm burst was a new skill. It's actually been quite fun in terms of the mechanics of both the skills. Fire out couple of balls and then um, they managed to explode. Your firestorm procs off. So you, you whirl up, aim at the pack, get the, the storm bursts in the middle and then when they detonate you can keep running off and firestorm will keep, kill the rest of them. Uh, I thought I'd record the uh, first beachhead map that I managed to get myself using the harbinger orb. But we'll see how we do. Just using elemental weakness, anger. I haven't seen any any videos of this yet. Layout reminds me a bit of uh, Untainted Paradise. For Flask, I'm just using a, uh, a Serious Promise. For a little bit of extra damage. I'm sure you can get something better, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not sure what other Flask would be. Um, but the Wise Oaks for uh, elemental damage penetration. And I managed to get uh, both my fire and lightning to be at the same. So if it was a good roll, you'd get 15%. Uh, and then a Silver Flask for Whirling Blade Speed and just a nice granite to give you percent fizz reduction. Uh, mainly because you got these flask nodes. They help out quite a bit. Pretty happy with the new uh, volatile mechanic. Actually, gives you a chance to react instead of just exploding in your face. Especially if it was like a beyond pack that spawned, and the rare is just magically a volatile. You don't get time to read. <laughs> That's a, a nice bit of a, what would you, I wouldn't call it streamer RNG, but recording RNG. It's my first exalt this league as well, outside of trading. Trading doesn't count. So it seems like Cold resist is something that you'd want in this map. Uh, using carcass check, obvious reasons, 5 link. 6 link would be great, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Repentance for free iron will. Currently don't have all that much strength, but they do a decent amount more damage. Maybe 
they had about 10%. So if you really didn't care about the damage, you could probably go for something like rare life gloves and just push up the HP. Um, still just using rare weapons at the moment. I got really lucky and found this on like the second day. And I think for in, in terms of firestorm damage, it's actually better than um, Doriani's Catalyst. No idea why. Uh, and then I found this. Well, just helps because you can actually use Whirling Blades with it. I got it here, I can show you um probably seen Mathil did a storm burst and he was using ball lightning and I just thought I'd test it out as well. It seems it's quite good for um, pack clearing, but against bosses and like single targets it's pretty bad. But it's good for getting like off-screen targets. Um. And then for bosses I just swap conk effect with um, control destruction. If it was a six link, it, that would be the six link. <laughs> and you just you just have to swap between AoE and conk effect for clearing all bosses. Oh yeah, use Orb of Storm, link with the low level um, Arcane Surge, just to get like, what, 13% more damage. Generally only use it on bosses. It does help proc EE, but, oh not EE, um, it's just elemental overload. But I've found that um, because Stormburst has a projectile and an AoE, it's fairly common that it crits on its own. And then obviously Firestorm has a chance to crit too, so... Um, all buffed up. 2.5k tooltip. And Firestorm's about 11k. And that's with level 19 gems. Not too sure what this map's all about. There's got to be a boss in there somewhere. Try and rush the boss down. Keep the video link down a bit. There's the door. Yeah, nice XP in this map. That's nice. Stargate. Oh cool, look at that. I guess that's what the uh, new portal effect has. I was thinking of waiting to do this when the... Uh What do you call it? The new patch 
or increased drops of orbs and stuff like that, but... I'll find more, or create more, because apparently this is part of what they wanted. They wanted more people to have access to this map. Um, one of the things that keeps me alive is a uh, cast wind damage taken frostbolt with GMP. So if you ever get frozen or um, stunned, they, uh, the orbs shoot off and you get a 100% leech. I'll show you. Yeah, it's not a 100% leech. You gotta get hit pretty hard. There you go. It also chills as well. If you really wanted, you could use like orc storms or just another firestorm instead of frostbolt. But I like the chill effect. Managed to do a zero a couple times, um, but really haven't haven't pushed too far into the the maps. Haven't had time to grind up the tiers. Oh yeah, I didn't even swap to conquer pack. So with conquer pack. my damage. Hmm. Still only 10k. Oh, I didn't have plus up. Yeah. It's weird. Maybe I had a buff from somewhere else before. I've got to say the new um, dynamic resolution is not too bad. My, uh, my frame rate's sort of restricted at the moment because I'm recording anyway, but at least this isn't two frames per second. There comes those frost bolts in, in handy. Cast went damage taken, keeping me going. There's lots of shards in there. There, yeah, that's the build. Um, I'll try and link the path of building completed thing in the video description. And my profile so you can see my gear and all that sort of stuff. Imperial staff piece. So this is the new Hegemony's era. Third piece. So there's four I'm guessing. But what's it worth? No idea. I'll check it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you later.